Hello Year 7, welcome back to food. It's Mrs Tung and Miss Allen and we're going to start with our tortilla recipe. So linking to our theme of Mexican food, uh, tortillas are a staple food in many parts of Mexico. Um, they use corn flour and they also use wheat flour. We're going to be using wheat flour for our recipe. So in this bowl I have got 200 grams of plain flour and I'm going to need ready 100 millilitres of water, some baking powder, some oil and some salt. So I've weighed out my flour here and I'm going to add my dry ingredients. So I've got some baking powder here so I'm going to put half a teaspoon of baking powder into the bowl and I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt into the bowl. Okay, mix it all together. This is going to make just a plain flavoured tortilla. Okay, you can add optional extras at this point like um, chilli powder or garlic powder, different herbs for a flavoured flatbread but we're just going to keep ours plain and simple. Obviously, if you're gluten intolerant, you need to use um, like non-wheat flour, um, but this is just plain flour in here. So we've got our dry ingredients. We are going to be dry frying this, which means we're not going to be um, frying in oil later on, but we're going to add our oil into this mixture. So I've got a tablespoon here, and I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil into the mix. like so, and I'm going to add 100 ml of water. So you can make a dip into the middle of the flour and mix it up. And as soon as it starts to come together, you can start to use your hands to mix it rather than a spoon. Okay, add a bit more. This will make eight tortillas, eight smallish tortillas. And you can start thinking about what sorts of fillings you can have in there. Okay, you could have them sweet or savoury. Most people would have them savoury. You use them as wraps for all sorts of different fillings. Obviously, you know I'm going to tell you to try and keep your fillings as healthy as possible and not to start spreading them with loads of Nutella or unhealthy fillings. Okay, so gently, gradually add your water until it starts to come together. Okay, at which point you can use your hands you see it starting to clear the edges of the bowl now and all the dough is starting to stick together so at this point use your hands to make a ball it's lovely and soft okay right i'm going to lightly flour the surface of the table and I'm going to put on my dough. I'm going to lightly flour my dough as well because it's super sticky. I added too much water. And like I said this will make eight tortillas so what we need to do is to make divide this dough portion into eight equally sized parts. The easiest way of doing that we're not going to weigh out each individual section to make sure it's exact. We're just going to go half, half and half again to make um, eights. So we're just going to divide it into half, roughly about two equal sized parts. So that's half and we're going to go half again here. So we've ended up with quarters. Okay, so we have quarters there. And let's go half again so that we end up with eight balls and they should be roughly about the same size that will mean that they cook about the same time they take about the same time to cook um, and you know 
they will be the same size when you come to wrap them up. Right, so the next part is going to involve using a rolling pin. So you only need one of these for the demonstration purposes. So you need to make sure that your ball is nicely rounded with no big cracks. Make sure it's a nice smooth ball. Okay, and you've got a flowered surface so it's not going to stick. And you are going to roll it out so it's nearly, nearly see-through. And you're going to need to use um, a non-stick frying pan for best results when you actually come to cook this. Try and make your tortillas really nice and thin so it's almost almost see-through when you pick them up. They're not going to be huge, they're just going to be a small size. Obviously if you want larger size tortillas you need to divide your dough into eight, uh, four pieces sorry, rather than the eight. starting to stick and pull. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to bring the camera over to the hob. So that's where my frying pan is. So you'll notice there is no oil in there. And what I'm going to do, I'll just put it on on a medium high heat. I'm just going to place my tortilla inside. Okay, and it's going to take a few minutes, but you can't wander off and leave it. You do need to pay attention to it and make sure that it's not going to be burning anywhere. So I've set this on a medium high heat and I'm going to wait for this to start to bubble up. And when it's started to bubble up, I'm going to be very careful and turn it over. Make sure at home if you're doing this, you've got somebody at home, a responsible adult that can help you. Okay, you do need to wait. Okay, I can see it's already starting to, even after a few minutes, it's starting to bubble up a little bit. Just turn the heat up a little bit more. And what you want to do, you want to make sure you can see the bubbles. As soon as it starts to bubble, flip it over. I'm going to use a spatula to make sure it doesn't fly up into the air because we're not doing pancakes. Um, and I'd advise you to do the same too. quick look to see what we're at on the other side. It's not quite there yet. But can you see there's no oil at all. I'm just trying to make sure that all the edges are actually in contact with the heat so we're conducting the heat through the food. Right, oh, there's a big bubble coming on in the middle now. So when these are done, think about what you're going to put in them or roll them with what filling you're going to have inside. But they're so quick and easy to make, you're never going to buy any shop-bought ones because literally the main ingredient is flour. Right, we've got a little bit of coloration in there. So once they start to get these nice little brown spots, you don't want it to go black or burn, you just want it looking like it's nicely toasted and they are done. So I hope you're going to have a go. Uh, me and Miss Allen will really enjoy having a look to see what you've managed to upload. So take photos of your work, upload them to class charts, have a go and good luck and we'll see you soon.